Good day everyone, I'm just going to be um, uploading some short videos over the next um, four weeks, um, probably not as regularly as I usually do because I've got a bit of a um, uh, something with the family involved that I need to get, um, I, I need to commit to 100% so I'm just not going to have time for the guitar pedal stuff. Um, uh, it's not, it's not serious but it, um, it, it I, I can't, I, I have to commit myself to it 100%, um, my wife's going to need my support for this. So, um, yeah, I won't be uploading a hell of a lot um, over, the next, um, over the next four weeks. So, uh, I'm just going to do some short videos that I, um, now, I'm going to record them and have them ready and I'll just upload maybe one a week um, from, now, from now on. But then, you know, um, after, the, after the two to four weeks, um, I'll, I'll be back into full swing again. So, um, this video is going to be on charge pumps. I'm not going to be talking about how to set them up or how they work but I am going to be telling you which ones you should use and which ones you should avoid and you'll see why when I go through this explanation. The, at the beginning, the first pedal that I built was the Maestro FSH and on the bill of materials it says to use a, a Max 1044. I've put the Max 1044 in it and I tested it for a while and after about um, an hour approximately the pedal stopped working I tracked it down, long story short, the Max had burnt out, it was incredibly hot when I touched it and I replaced it with a LT1054 and it started working again. And I pretty much, just someone on the forum actually said, you know, it could have been the current rating of the, of the, um, of the uh, FSH burnt it out, so I've used the wrong component, uh, it draws too much current and it burnt out the Max, not the Max's fault as such, it was just the circuit that it was in. So time passes and I build built heaps of different pedals that use the, use, um, the charge pump and I, and I kept using the LT1054 because it's the same price, I just figured you might as well just use that. It's got a higher voltage rating, higher current rating, uh, might as well just use the LT1054. Then I built the Flanger 301 and it was very noisy and I'd read around on the forums that it's very noisy with a charge pump so I just figured that it's just the way that it was and um, I just put it on the back burner and I moved on to something else. But I'd read quite a few times that on, um, on the forums that the TC1044, the low noise um, charge pump, um, is, is good to use because uh, it's low noise in, in noisy circuits. So I thought it might be worthwhile smacking one in this thing and seeing if it fixes, fixes some of the noise issues. And it did improve it significantly. Uh, unfortunately, it's still noisy and it really does need just two batteries. Um, the, the, the charge pumps are just too noisy, but it did decrease the noise. So that was the TC1044 with the low noise option. I decided to build um, five of these um, Germanium boosters, which are Range Masters, and put and um, to sell. And um, I was ordering from Tata, and they don't have Tata don't have the TC or the LT. So I just ordered the Maxes, thinking that well, this thing uses absolutely stuff all power. It should be perfectly fine in it. Um, so I ordered like, <coughs> excuse me, about 10 um, maxes and I um, started building them up. I tested the first one and I and it worked fine. It was working perfectly fine. And then I put um, I put another pedal on to see what it sounded like with another pedal um, uh, in the chain and it stopped working. And I opened it up and I'm going, oh, what's going on? And I'm checking it over and the Max 1044 is incredibly hot again um, and I figured it's burnt out uh, and because I designed this layout I thought there was something wrong with the design of the layout but again long story short um, it wasn't the layout, the layout was perfectly fine the max was burning out for some reason and it took me about seven maxes to work out that it was when I put another pedal in the chain that the max would, would burn out I don't know why but it did it so I thought is it to try and work out whether it was my layout or not, I thought, well, I'll put the Max in something else. It wasn't the FSH, it was actually the, um, the Boneyard. So I put the Max in the Boneyard and, the, um, and a different, and like an LT um, in, the, in the Germanium Booster. And lo and behold, the Boneyard stops working. So the Max in the Boneyard burnt out. So it can't be my layout if it's burning out in Mad Bean's layout. 
So I decided at that point that the Max is just a total nightmare to use and I don't ever use it anymore. I avoid it like the plague. Don't use the Max. It is it is just I, I think that these these TCs and LTs have some sort of internal protection or they're rated the TC is rated at nine volts the same as the um the same as the um uh, Max but uh, I just think that there's that the tolerances of the Max aren't are good enough, or it doesn't like being in a in a in a um, chain with another another Max that's um uh, uh sorry another power inverter. Uh, maybe the, maybe the other power inverter's shunting more voltage or current through the Max or something like that. Not sure exactly what the technical reason is, but regardless, I would not touch the Max because it is a pain in the backside. So you've got three options. You've got the Max, which I've just said don't use. You've got the LT, which is good for pretty much everything. It works well for everything, and it's got a good, um, it's got a good current rating and voltage rating. You won't have burnout problems with that. So I pretty much use that for everything, except for um, circuits that need a low noise volt, uh, no, low noise charge pump, um, which the TC1044 SCPA or whatever it's called, the low noise version. Um, which I use that for and I'd probably classify the FSH um, as a noisy circuit and I would definitely classify the flanger as a, as a noisy circuit but like I said in the flanger build report I wouldn't even use a charge pump for this thing it is mentally noisy um, and the only way you're going to get around it is with um, two batteries uh, or a, um, a 15 volt I think it uses 15 volts um, a 15 volt um, power adapter so that's it, that is my experience um, with charge pumps and which ones to avoid, which is um, the max, really only avoid the max. You can pretty much use the TC um, low noise for everything if you want, um, but they haven't found a place where they're cheap um, and they're actually difficult to find. If you're good with mouse, you might be able to find one there, um, but you'd have to have a look around for trying to find them, you know, like uh, less than sort of $3.50 or $3.00. Um, Whereas, you know, the LT is only $2.20, so it's quite a bit cheaper. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's how I use my charge pumps. Um, and, yeah, just stay away from that max. I'm telling you, just don't go down that path. It'll do your head in. Um, I've just been burnt so many times by that damn charge pump that I just cannot bring myself to order it again. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.